YouTube, what's the deal? It's the Big Face Trucker. The Big Face Trucker. Yo. I woke up this morning. I decided to look at some what's going on YouTube. Alright. And... It's about... Uh, this guy Larry used to be a wrestler or whatever and he's in a jam in a jam now I don't know Larry uh, I don't know if I don't watch wrestling or whatever it didn't it does, doesn't matter man it doesn't matter the jam that he's in it ain't fucking right it ain't fucking right people you don't do people like that now the story I heard I actually heard the story on Jake Canal's channel where uh, he called in and talked to the guy got it from the horse's mouth how this company did him Uh, and I stated, man, in, in in my journey, I hope I'll never be treated like that, because that could push somebody over the edge. In the situation he was in, it could push somebody over the edge, and it could cause some problems for both parties. If you think like I think. I know it ain't fair. You know it ain't fair. And just so happens, it's just a good thing that there is. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I was just hitting you up. Um, they still don't got me loaded down here. I know. Uh, yeah, they don't have a clue of what's going on or nothing. So, and there's a there's like one, two, three, four, five, a good, a good ten or fifteen truckers out here that's in the same situation from the same broker. So, yeah, it, it's crazy. But uh. I'm going to hit you back. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll hit you back in a few. Well, it seems like my truck is loaded or whatever, but I was going to put my phone back there and take a picture and see what it was. But we'll see what happens. Got people coming out here with paperwork and stuff. But we'll see. I'll hit you up when I'm out of here. Alright, peace. Yeah, so, what I was saying, it wasn't right what he had to go through. I heard the phone call. I heard the situation. Um, it's glad that truckers, some truckers came out and looked out for him, you know. Um, I had a bad situation, but not with trucking. It was personal, and just so happened I got my click my click that I can call on you know and it is what it is you know you go through things out here in this trucking but I I tell you it was dead ass wrong for him to, for, for this guy to get this other guy to come to a company that was shit wasn't right you know I'm not going to call no names, but we already know. I'm not a part of that drama or whatever, but it kind of concerns me because I'm a driver too. And all we do out here is want to sign up with a company and we want to make money, take care of our families, do our job, drive the loads or whatever, you know, and it's just bad that 
you got a handful out here drivers that do crazy shit like steal the product and stuff like that where the good suffers behind a few bad drivers out here so I don't know what the company's problem was or whatever with this dude you know what I'm saying me myself I don't know I don't know I, I would be on I would be on the edge and I don't know what kind of edge I would be on so I'm glad that they did what they did to help this guy uh, that was real cool and I'm hoping that all these big so-called youtubers out here chime in make some things happen this company needs to correct the situation uh, don't try to hurt the driver's license let him move on somebody gives him a better job an offer or whatever let him get his situation right with his wife and everything and let him move on you know um, I hope some people just come in with the with the skills of uh, the law and come down on this company come down on this idiot that's uh, bringing people in to get to sign this uh, bogus contract uh, you gotta read your contract you gotta read your contract and at the same time right at the same time I understand a lot of that shit cause we, all we do right all we do is wanna work and we go in and throw these contracts are thrown in front of us and you know you make a decision. What can what you know, what's the worst can happen at it? It's a lot of bad things could happen at it if you sign. And I ran into one company like that, but it wasn't that bad, you know. And I turned around and made it the best out of that company. I turned around and did my best with it. And I left on good terms. Alright. Um it's just really, really sad that this type of shit is still going on just to move some freight for somebody to make a living. But I figured I'd just say something today, you know, on that. I really don't get down with, uh, into the drama or something like that, but I really think, you know, I had to at least say something. You know, I, I know there's truckers out there probably making videos about it or whatever. And, you know, I might check it out a little further to see what, you know, what what, come, you know, what comes out on it. Um, but to hear the guy on the phone, on Jay Canal's uh, video, to hear him on the phone and his wife, with the relief of just that kind of money coming in, helped him hold him down for for you know the time it can, you know, and maybe something to happen better between that time. Hopefully, somebody can offer him a job. What's up? With this damn phone. Offer him a job or something, you know, where he can keep the money coming in. Um, that's it. And for the guy that got this guy into this problem and all that, uh, man, it's just, uh, it ain't over. It ain't over yet for him. I'm pretty sure it ain't over yet for him. Um, you probably need to probably get on there and you probably need to clear your name and apologize and try to help that guy out because you brought him into that shit. And uh, that's it. I heard you probably signed the same shit or even got something better because you're a YouTuber. Um, yo, 
before you before you even anybody before you even go to a company just do your do, do the due diligence on it just read as much as you can on the company talk to some drivers sit back don't rush uh, some people need the money though you know and it's hard to say that but don't put yourself in a jam read your contract over and over again um, and that's it yo but look this is the big face trucker I figured I'd just say something about it uh, see if any of these other big YouTubers that got all these subscribers chime in on it because you got a bigger platform than me you know bigger than me mine's is just the journey that I'm going through so whatever subscribers I got for me you know I appreciate y'all coming through and checking me out I may not have a whole lot of action going on on my channel um, yes my life is kind of it is private I like to keep my life private but whatever happens in trucking I'll share it with you you know but yeah look big face trucker signing off you know what it is Speak from the heart and I write with the left. Peace.